we are going to see about monochromatic plane waves so monochromatic plane waves in the name itself we have monochromatic so mono mono which is nothing but single and chromatic chromatic means color so in the visible region in the visible region each color corresponds to a particular frequency so in the visible region each color corresponds to a frequency omega since different frequency in the visible region corresponds to different colors such waves are known as monochromatic we are going to consider an electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave of particular frequency we are going to consider an electromagnetic wave of particular frequency omega and such waves are known as monochromatic since it has single frequency it is known as uh, monochromatic plane waves so the electromagnetic wave of particular frequency omega is known as monochromatic so what is mean by plane waves such waves traveling in one particular direction so if that wave travels in one particular direction one particular direction say is a direction so it is known as the plane waves so it is known as the plane waves so what does mean by monochromatic plane waves is a wave having a particular frequency omega and traveling in one particular direction was having one particular frequency and traveling in one particular direction is known as the monochromatic plane waves so now we are going to write the electric field and magnetic field of such waves the electric field and magnetic field of such monochromatic plane waves that is the electric field is given by e which is a function of z comma t here we have written e is a function of z comma t it is not the function of x, uh, x and y since it is traveling in one particular direction we consider that direction as z so e is a function of z comma t which is equal to e not e not is the electric field amplitude into e power i k z minus omega t so this is the electric field similarly magnetic field b which is a function of z comma t is equal to b not e power i k z minus omega t so this is the electric field and this is the magnetic field where e not and b not are the complex amplitudes e not and b not are the complex amplitude so now we are going to consider the maxwell's equation that is del dot e is equal to 0 and del dot b is equal to 0 these two are the maxwell's equation first two maxwell equation that is del dot e is equal to 0 del dot b is equal to 0 and it follows that the del we can write like this do by do x i plus do by do y j plus do by do z k dot e electric field also we have x component y component and z component k which is equal to 0 so if we take the dot product so here here i dot i is 1 but i dot j i dot k is 0 similarly j dot j is 1 j dot i j dot k is 0 and k dot k is 1 k dot i k dot j is 0 so three terms will come do by do x i dot e x i that i dot i will become 1 so we will get do by do x e x plus do by do y e y plus do by do e z e z equal to 0 here if we write the electric field component of along the x axis we have to write like this do by do x of instead of uh, e x we have to write e naught x e power i k z minus omega t plus 
டோ பை டோ ஒய் இ நாட் ஒய் இ பவர் ஐ கே இசட் மைனஸ் அமேகா டி ப்ளஸ் டோ பை டோ இசட் இ நாட் இசட் இ பவர் ஐ கே இசட் மைனஸ் அமேகா டி ஈக்குவல் டு ஜீரோ ஹியர் இஃப் வி டிஃப்ரென்ஷியேட் திஸ் வித் ரெஸ்பெக்ட் டு எக்ஸ் ஹியர் யூ டோன்ட் ஹவ் தி எக்ஸ் டேம் அண்ட் ஹியர் யூ டோன்ட் ஹவ் தி ஒய் டேம் தீஸ் ஆர் தி ஆம்பிடியூட் விச் ஆர் கான்ஸ்டன்ஸ் So if we differentiate with respect to x, this term will become 0 and this term will become 0 only. The z term we will have that is do by do z of e naught e z e power i k e z minus omega t. omega t which is equal to 0 which is equal to 0 so if we differentiate this we will get we are going to differentiate with respect to z so e power if we differentiate we will get i k into e naught e z e power i k e z minus omega t which is equal to 0 here the term exponential term cannot be 0 therefore e naught z is equal to 0 this is this equation we got from the maxwell equation del dot e is equal to 0 similarly if we follow the same rule by using the equation del dot b is equal to 0 we will get b naught of z is equal to 0 so we got two equations that is e naught of z is equal to 0 b naught of z is equal to 0 uh, then we are going to consider the third of the maxwell equation that is the faraday's law which is nothing but del cross e is equal to minus do b by do t faraday's law del cross e is equal to minus do b by do t here we are going to substitute for b that is minus do by do t instead of b we are going to substitute b naught e power i k z minus omega t so instead of uh, b we are substituting b naught e power i k z minus omega t so which is equal to here we are going to differentiate with respect to t not with respect to z here we are going to differentiate with respect to t here omega is there minus omega is there so here also minus this minus and this minus will get plus and this i omega we have to write here so i omega b naught e power i k z minus omega t so i omega b naught e power i k z minus omega t left hand side we have del cross e del cross e curl we will write like this so i j k in the first row second row the components of del that is dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z the third row the permanence of the electric field that is e x e y and instead of e z we are going to substitute zero since e naught z is zero e z is zero so instead of that we are substituting zero so we are now we are going to solve this so first i into dou y by dou z is zero then dou by dou z of e y minus dou by dou z of e y that is i into minus dou by dou z of e y this one is the first term minus j cap into this dou by dou x into 0 so minus minus dou by dou z e x so last term k now a dou by dou x of e y put e y we have to write uh, e naught y into e power i k z minus omega t so z we cannot uh, differentiate with respect to x but here we can you can see here you have z with respect to z we are going to differentiate so if we write e y as e naught y e power i k z minus omega t we can differentiate that and this term also we can differentiate so it is equal to in the right hand side also we can write the components of b naught that is b naught uh, b naught x plus b naught y plus b naught z here also b naught z is zero so we have only two components that is i omega b naught x e power i 
के इज़र माइनस ओमेगा टी प्लस आई ओमेगा बी नॉट वाई ई पवर आई के इज़र माइनस ओमेगा टी सो हियर इफ यू सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर ई वाई यू विल गेट आई कैप माइनस लो बाई लो इज़र इंस्टेड ऑफ ई वाई वी कैन राइट ई नॉट वाई ई पवर आई के इज़र माइनस ओमेगा टी सिमिलरली दिस वन इज आई तो माइनस जे इंटू माइनस डो बाई डो इज़र ऑफ ई नॉट एक्स ई पवर आई के इज़र माइनस ओमेगा टी equal to right hand side term we have to write here so if you first term if we differentiate that with respect to z you will get i k so i cap into minus here we have one here we have one minus so we have to write that minus minus i k e not y e power i k is it माइनस ओमेगा टी तो इस फर्स्ट टर्म देन माइनस जे इंटू वी डिफरेंशिएट दिस सेम मेथड सो हियर आल्सो वी हैव के इज एड आई के सो आई के विल कम हियर ऑन माइनस ऑन माइनस सो माइनस माइनस विल बिकम प्लस सो प्लस जे कैप आई के ई नॉट एक्स e power i k is it minus omega t equal to in the right hand side we have i omega b not x e power i k is it minus omega t plus i omega b not y here i also we have to put i cap this one is along i so one is along j so we have to write i omega b not x into e power i k z minus omega t i cap plus i omega b not y e power i k z minus omega t into j cap here the exponential term will get cancelled so if we equating the components of i cap that is minus i k e not y that is coefficient of i cap we are going to equate the coefficient of i cap on both side i omega b not x and coefficient of j cap that is i k e not x is equal to i omega b not y here i i i will get cancel we will get minus k e not of y is equal to omega b not of x and k e not of x equal to omega b not y so we got uh, this equation so in general we can write from this we can write b not x is equal to minus k by omega e not y and b not y is equal to k by omega e not x but the here the we have minus sign here we have plus sign so we have to take that sign also into account so in general you can write b not of b not is equal to k by omega z cap cross e not so according to this we will get minus and plus so direction we have to include so we are writing z cap cross e not that is b not is equal to k by omega z cap cross e not so the sign will differ for each component so evidently here e and b are in phase we know that the electric field and magnetic field are always in phase but uh, they are in phase but they are perpendicular to each other and their real amplitudes are related by so real amplitude we can write instead of writing like this we can write like this the real amplitude is given by b not is equal to k by omega here you don't bother about this sign uh, direction so b not is equal to k by omega e not which is equal to k by omega is nothing but 1 by c e not so b not is equal to 1 by c e not
so this equation we got from Maxwell's third equation and Maxwell's fourth equation that is uh, del cross B is equal to this is Ampere's law third equation is Faraday's law from Faraday's law fourth equation from the Ampere's law so the fourth equation also simply reproduces the equation 3 so um, first two equation from the first two equation got equation 2 that is e naught z is equal to 0 b naught z is equal to 0 and from third and the fourth equation we got b naught is equal to 1 by c e naught the third and fourth equation we got the same result so the monochromatic plane we can here we consider the monochromatic plane we travels in z direction but uh, it is not necessary that the wave has to travel in z direction it may travel in any of the direction x y and z it may travel in any direction so the notation we have to replace it by already we have written the electric field as e is equal to e is a function of z comma t but we don't know that the wave traveling is the direction so instead of z we have to write r e of r comma t r r is the position vector x i comma plus y j plus z k and here instead of k z we have to write k dot r so in general we have to write like that electric field and magnetic field we have to write like that that is e is equal e which is a function of uh, e is a function of r comma t which is equal to e naught e power i k r minus omega t into n cap where n is the polarization vector then b which is a function of r comma t here you have to write b naught but b naught we know that b naught is equal to 1 by c e naught so instead of b naught we can put 1 by c e naught here we have to write the direction so uh, and here k by omega no if we put 1 by c into z into uh, z cap cross e naught so b naught is equal to 1 by c e naught so here instead of b naught we have written 1 by c e naught into e power i k r minus omega t omega t into um, k cross n so k cross n where k is the propagation vector k and n is the polarization vector so the real real electric and magnetic field can be written as in terms of the propagation vector we have to write like this so uh, e power i theta we can write e power i theta as cos theta plus i sin theta where cos term is the real term so the real electric field mean we have to write the cos term around that is last final equation we have to write like this e which is a function of r comma t is equal to we are going to write the real amplitude uh, real electric field that is e naught cos k r minus omega t plus we have added on phase del into n cap the real magnetic field b of r comma t is equal to 1 by c b naught cos k r minus omega t plus del here k cross n okay thank you